What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy with JMED's Brick Clicks. In my last Lego farm update video, if you haven't seen it, we added goats to the farm. I added two goats. Yeah, it's like, that was the whole part of the video. We did, we moved the llamas to a bigger enclosure since I have over a dozen of them. Put the goats in the old llama enclosure. But this time, we got a couple other updates on it. We're going to start out with this little custom corn stand. I got these instructions off rebrickable.com. And if you've seen my farm, I'll show you here in a second. I've got a little produce stand that's out there. I put it there in the fall last year during the, the fall harvest Lego season to for people to get pumpkins and corn and stuff. Well, I didn't really have a corn stand, so I'm going to replace that little stand with this. And I took this sticker piece off of the uh, little truck that comes with the corn pieces. Yeah, right there. Stupid little corn pieces are $3 or actually more than $3 a piece to buy on BrickLink or on Lego.com. Believe that. So you got uh, a little piece of corn there kind of rotating or on the grill for some hot corn. I think that's the name of what the uh, the builders called this is the hot corns, <laughs> the hot corn stand. I'm going to add all his information kind of throughout the video and at the end. So if you want to go on there, the instructions are like a dollar or two. I mean, they're, they're nothing really. It's a cool little set. I had most of the pieces. I didn't have some of these bricks with the studs on three sides to be able to put all these studs on there but I had just about every other thing I did buy two new corn pieces because yeah you can see there's five pieces of corn in this set and I only had three from that set the little produce set with the uh, carrot on the top I think it came out last year for like 40 something dollars and now it's on sale Amazon Walmart everywhere for 27 so Wish I'd have waited. I might even buy another one just because the corn itself nine dollars of a twenty nine or twenty seven dollar set. But anyway, let me look at the back. Let me see, kind of like the condiment shelf. Pretty simple design. Like that little design work. And he, the guy that does this, specializes in these little stands. I think he's got a dozen or more different stands. There's a taco stand. <laughs> There's. Oh, there's a bunch of others, so we might get another one or two. Who knows? We got some room, little nooks and stuff in the city where they just take up these little spots. Kind of like what the food vehicles, the food carts and food vendors on the in the vans that Lego's coming out with. The little stands, I mean, it's not really any different other than you can move them around. But yeah, all right. So here's our little addition, soon to be addition. Uh, another thing I've been working on is some and it's this is incomplete but i'll show you a quick view and we'll do another video on it later on because it'll be another update when i update the garden i'm going to do this so we've got tomato plants in the garden just a quick view i got all these red bulbs ordered that came in all the christmas sets to finish out those we'll look we'll look at that later so just a little sneak peek uh if you missed the last custom build video we got the lego planter so i can plant corn and this thing opens up if you haven't seen it if you have just bear with me for just a second we've got our corn planters our tanks to put our seed in access to get up there oh yeah we have a little bit of a kickstand just a thing to keep our receiver hitch out of the dirt. And then it all folds up. And it's thin enough to be able to fit just as an oversized load on the Lego streets. If I need to pull it to a different farm. Okay, anything else I can think of before we jump into it? Nope, okay. Oh yes, I am working on another Lego tractor. It's a white one. For some reason, I never knew... Lamborghini made tractors. I guess not. I guess being living in Missouri in the U.S. and only knowing them for cars, I didn't realize they made tractors. I didn't realize their colors were a, a teal and orange originally. 
and now they've gone to a straight white tractor. So I'm working on a Lamborghini white tractor for the farm. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Here's our goats hanging out. I did get a Minecraft goat recently. So I added him over there. Yeah, he kind of towers over him. But in the bigger scheme of things, he kind of just blends in. I did find two generic Lego, or I found some generic Lego goats. Um, these are actually $70 a piece. The generic ones that are on eBay that are non-Lego but look almost exactly the same, I think they're $13 or $14 a piece. I think I might buy one just to do a comparison video for people that are interested in having goats on their farm and don't want to spend $140 for that if you live in the U.S. or more. Um, moving on. So we'll do a garden update fairly soon. I do need to add some stuff to it. I've got some new ideas. Part of the update's going to be doing this. It's still sitting here to update the grapevines. But there's our little stand. We've got our carrot guy out there. Let me try to get a better shot. Here we go. So we got our carrot guy out there selling carrots. And up here are peas, and there's our corn guy. So we've already got our mascot. That, that guy will probably go inside the little corn booth. And this little friend set here, we're going to rotate that out for now. It might come back. So just kind of a rotation thing, just to kind of keep changing stuff up every so often. Because I know I don't want to place it and then never change it again. Same thing with that whole area there. We're going to change some of that up and add some greenery into that dark tan area. So we're going to probably make that pasture once we start changing out some of the fields over here. You can see the llamas are all placed. They're all good to go. We do have another little tiny stand there. You think he's selling eggs and strawberries. Oh yeah, I need to move that pumpkin. Or no, that's... Uh, I guess that's apples. Okay. I thought it might have been tomatoes for a second. But anyway, so that's what we've got there. Let's get this thing placed. And I might have another update or two to show you. I was standing over there. You can see here's where we are. Here's where I have to get to it. Now to get to that, you can see if I stand right here, I can just barely reach it. So what I have to do, I have to move the Scrooge McDuck money bin. I gotta move this whole little portable table and take out these two road plates so I can get right up against the chilies so I can lean in and do that work. So it's not, it's a lot of work just to move and to change out a, a little tiny stand. You can see one other little addition. I bought some Duplo and added it to the city. I got two of those pieces. Those are one by two Duplo. <laughs> I guess that's what we'll call it. Duplo bricks that are printed. It's on both sides. It had just a little roof to it. It kind of looks like a birdhouse or I don't know. I put it right beside the train station. Just so as you come across, you know, you're going to the farm. So a little bit of advertising. I know we don't have corn in there right now. But if you've seen my videos from last year, that whole cattle pasture and part of the, the llama pasture becomes a cornfield. I've got all that saved on uh, mills plates, so we'll switch that out eh, sometime soon. We're going to do hay season first, which is why I need to change out all this pasture, all this tan to add some green to it, spotty green, to make it some, uh, turn it into pasture so I can leave some of these animals there. All right, so just wanted to show you what it takes to be able to get to it. All the way over there. I know, just for reference, uh, the diner, the edge of the diner, there's the train. Come all the way across to behind my car vending machine. Yeah, that's one piece, one eight foot piece of plywood. And then from there to behind the Avengers Tower, that's the four foot piece. 
So the downtown block is four feet wide, or four feet by eight feet. The rest of this here, over to behind the backside of the mountain, that's six feet. And then this little section here, that's four feet. Oh, I see, <laughs> that's another update. I added a little movable cart with wheels that I can build something on. I've got to raise this up to make it this level, but I can just pull this out and then get into my, my farm. And then everything that's on this, it can just slide right back into place. Perfect for what I needed. I just need to add a little bit of a topper to this. I don't know if mills will do that or not. I've got a piece of plywood that'll probably do that. Perfect, got it on Amazon. It was like 60 bucks. It's a little expensive, but I get a little bit extra storage too, so I'm gonna maximize that for sure. All right, let's get in this and get this thing changed. I know I'm procrastinating. I got that table moved. Stand right up here. When I built this, I forgot, I put it on one of those plates, so it popped off really easy. But as a result, I ended up doing that with the corn. Changed it from this being built on this. The other one is just two, yeah, two studs longer. And here's what we got. So we got our corn guy. I just wanted to show you that. I'll probably end up putting him behind the stand. But yeah, I th I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? I need to move my corn. Well, actually, that kind of looks decent like that, just so you see it a little better from up here, across over the tracks. Let me see the corn over there. That, that works. Um, oh, yeah, I had somebody ask me, what is this? That is a custom cattle guard that I made for my driveway. I hadn't really seen anyone else do a cattle guard in a Lego farm, and I figured I'd be the first one to ever try it. So, yeah. Kind of use those guttering pieces, the one or the plates that have the little rail on them. I use them for guttering on my farm, just like that on the house. I just call them the guttering pieces. <laughs> I think that I think they're called with a rail or something like that. I'm not sure. That's a modified plate. But yeah, that is, and those are just sitting straight up in there. It's a cattle guard. I got cattle. I need a cattle guard. Oh, here's a better shot. Whenever I do my update on the garden, as you can see, I use studs. I've got those snow cone pieces. We're going to change it. So yeah, this is all one piece, I think, right there over. Yeah, the fencing is on the edge. So I need to take out that 48 by 48 plate. It's going to have all the driveway on it, and the water trough is on it. We'll redo some of the garden, kind of update that. In a future video, though. Um, let's see, what else do we have updated? Well, to finish up the video, I want to show you another project I'm going to probably start building. It's another attachment, or I'm sorry, implement for a tractor. It'll probably be pulled by this one. These are all my custom or modified tractors or farm equipment. It's a machine that you, or it's, it's an implement you pull behind a tractor and it's got a big propane tank on it and it shoots flames out the back. <laughs> I know it sounds cool. It's meant to burn off excess, just excess stuff from the year before, maybe extra corn stalks that are left over from the year before, early weeds, but kind of before you actually got to plant. Um, I've seen it. It kind of folds up just like a big plow would where it's got the sides that fold up, or like a bat wing mower. I'm going to show you a picture here, and we'll leave it at that. So stay tuned for that picture, because we're going to try to make something similar. I think it's just a really cool thing. I've only ever seen one in real life, and it wasn't even in use. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me on the farm stuff. I know we got a lot of it. We got all the tractors, so... We'll keep making those farm videos for you because I know at least some of you like them. I enjoy them more probably than you guys do. So we'll see you in the next one. And here's that implement.